Champions, we saw the rugby championship now, obviously, uh, Dream Test Series is a lower place than you have kept them. Uh, it's, uh, it's still nice that we've moved on from that point and now, now with, this, with the business end of, I suppose, of the rugby team. Yes, 100%. It does, it does feel a, a lot more, uh, not like more relaxed or more rugby focused. I think that's the important thing, and I think, yeah, it's for me, it's all about I just want to be measured on, on my effort on the field and what I do on the field. And yeah, it's really nice now because I've had to uh, five weeks to work um, in Stellenbosch at the camp, and everything has just been working. And I think everybody has gone through that phase where it was just the beginning. Four captains in the, in the, in the team now. I mean, you spoke about how much guy like Dwayne helped you yeah. in the England series. Must be nice to have that sort of backup there behind you as well. Yes, hundred percent. It does make things a lot easier, and I think um, we we all kind of similar, especially myself and Warren, in the way we lead. And I think they're gonna take a lot of the of the responsibility of me as well. You know, so I can we can all focus on playing, but we know not we we have each other on the field to help each other out. So how much you're looking forward to a new role of Wi-Fi? I'm excited. I'm excited. I think um, that's. That's where I started playing, obviously, under ca uh, Coach Rossi at the obviously at my union. And so I'm excited to see what I can do tomorrow, you know. I think you you basically get a little bit more ball than, than, than open side, so I'm looking forward to it. Jim, you mentioned obviously you were the storm of not making the playoffs and having an opportunity to just to train with Stellenbosch and stuff. Do you feel uh, it's a bit different physically? Because obviously you carry quite a heavy workload um, up until the end of that June series. Yeah, I I do feel really good, you know. I had a week off after the the Super Rugby, and we obviously met up in Stellenbosch. And I think I kind of struggled this year in, in the season, the beginning, because I didn't do pre-season, so it was quite tough on me. And I got an early injury uh, before the first game of the Super Rugby. And so it was quite tough. And then now these five weeks have actually, they've worked, we've worked really hard. And I think I feel a lot stronger uh, than I was at the June Internationals or the Super Rugby. So is there a feeling that after the June series, this is now like phase two of the of the Rossi Erasmus era? And what are your guys' objectives? And what, how would you what, what would you say is a successful uh, Rossi championship campaign? Yeah, we we actually want to build it. We want to build on what we started uh, obviously in June. And there's a lot. We always want to improve and get better. And um, obviously, coaches think is he's got a long term plan with the with the World Cup, but we want to make sure that. Obviously, we want to win and learn while we're winning, not only learn while we're losing. You know, M mistakes will be will happen in the game and everything like that. But we just want to be better and make sure that um, our effort is always on top and our intensity. You know, we just want to play with intensity and our effort is always on top. Thank you. Yeah, just a word on, on Argentina. How important is it to get off to a winning start before you go on that flight for Buenos Yeah, it's 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 obviously really good to have a good start, especially at home. You know, if you want to win this this competition, you gotta make sure you win all your home games, and and obviously win away. And they really, I think they they really a good side. And obviously, it's a lot of the guys that played in the Super Rugby, and they did well in the Super Rugby. You know, they went on a winning streak there, and they obviously they've got a new coach now, so it's new um, motivation, new excitement. Uh, I know it's gonna be tough tomorrow, and yeah, uh, just tough the last time we played them here. So that memory is still in the bag. Um, so we we excited as a team to start off the championship. I think the most important thing for us is to make sure we focus on us to, uh, tomorrow. And there's a couple of guys who are getting <coughs> opportunities, so we've got a lot of energy and a lot of motivation also going to this game. Uh, yeah, um, you haven't said yesterday that he just loves you as a player. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was joking <laughs> when he said he said that. <laughs> it must be great to have that kind of support. Yes, it is. Uh, it is really good and. Like our, our friendship is it's it started when we were uh, in high school already, and when we, uh, that's one of the reasons why I moved to Cape Town because of him and Gazmus, um, and we just got stronger and stronger. And a lot of people would think it um, all the like him him being captain or me being not being captain, all those kind of things were getting between us. It actually made us stronger, you know. It is tough um, at times and stuff, but we just got stronger and stronger. And uh, I'm just excited for him that is he's back and he's, he's going to be playing tomorrow and uh, i know how hard has worked i know i've saw how much he, it, it hurt him in june when he couldn't be here and so i'm excited to see him play tomorrow yeah and i think spoken about um, the captaincy beyond this um the rugby championship maybe you play to the world cup or so 
now now we haven't spoken uh, about that uh, obviously our focus right now is championship yeah so we haven't had any discussions about that so wouldn't you like this job done permanent way to go mm -hmm. through the world cup i, I just want to be in the side that's the most important thing for me so yeah they're expecting between 25 and 30 thousand people at king's park tomorrow which is obviously nowhere near the capacity um is that disappointing as a captain and as a, as a springbok knowing that you're going to be playing in front of a stadium that's nowhere near full no, we 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 just happy we you know we we we're gonna be playing tomorrow. We're excited to play, and you know there's probably all sorts of reasons why people can't come, but we appreciate the ones that are there that are gonna be watching us. And I know the people that are not coming are probably gonna watch us at home. So we're really excited, and yeah, it will get better and better. You know, we all in a building place, and the people will come. And I think the most important thing for us to make sure we perform so that it gives people to uh, the reasons to come and support us. So you spoke about um, feeling a bit stronger. Um, just in terms of your personal game, where do you feel you kind of would rate yourself? Um, <laughs> you know, what um, areas or, or things do you want to do better or differently? How, how much of a step up do you want to make? Um, I'll just put it to, to one thing to make it easier. It's just my effort in the field. It's you know, chasing kicks, tackling, all those things, all the things that you don't need talent for. That's what I'm looking to be better at. Not the things where I run with the ball and offload and stuff. It's just me chasing and tackling, making sure all, I'm on my feet at all times. I think that's the main thing that coach is looking for. It's not looking for your talent because we're all different and unique players. That's the stuff that makes you who you are. But all he wants is he's got like a kind of a set thing where effort is the main thing. When you're tired, you can't go anymore. Let the next guy go in. So I want to go as hard as I can and as long as I can. So yeah, just uh, when I was speaking to the new coach, normally there's some question marks of how they're going to play, but. You guys are in a fortunate position that you played for Yaguares the whole time, so you know exactly how they're going to play and, and, and the style of rugby that they're probably going to employ tonight. Yeah, I think they'll be different compared to last year. Oh, like, that's true what you're saying. Sorry, I didn't hear properly there. Yeah, it's true, we, we do know, but you never know if the coach is going to try something new. But I think, like, like I said earlier, the most important thing is to make sure that we get our structures right, you know, and, and believe in our system. And whatever they do, you know, if Obviously, we prepare and stuff, and we watch what they did previously. If they do something different, we're going to have to adjust to that. But I'm sure they'll have a, little, a couple of tricks up, uh, up their sleeves tomorrow. Yeah, it's a uh, um, big moment tomorrow for Tomo's teammate, Damien Ballister. Sort of what has his um, sort of mindset uh, been this week, and sort of do, do you give him any advice um, going into the test tomorrow? He's, uh, uh, yes, Damien is so strong, and Damien is different to a lot of young guys uh, who come out of school is like I was shocked how, prof how professional he is you know is the advice he gives in the game in the game how he motivates us you know when we're tired you know he's, he's, he's fit you know and his vision and how he prepares himself for the game every day after training he'll go sit down and watch a training he's so hard on himself I watch him when he does extras and stuff and all of that that's what got him here you know I can't give him a lot of advice all I could tell him is that just be yourself, do what you did. And same as Marco as well. He's been awesome this year, you know. He got, got unfortunately injured in June. And like he's, they're, they're so good, I can't give them a lot of advice. They can only do what they've been doing, you know, and uh, and add, and do what they can to be to fit in in the system. But yeah, they're awesome players. I'm really excited for them tomorrow. Yeah, Vincent, is this um, <coughs> the championship itself or almost the entire World Cup? World Rugby, because I mean, they've only played one team in twenty years, and a lot of people have said that it's it will it's a dream of a new era. Do you feel a bit now that the championship will, will yeah. bring you to the club? And yeah, like no, hundred percent. You know, we we all, we have our our goals, you know, our short term goals and long term goals. But you are right; it's always good to test yourself against different opposition, and we're gonna be playing against. Um, the teams are in the top in the in the top ten, obviously, and obviously the all that's been first in the log, and it's always good to see where you are when you test yourself against this team. And you don't know what coaches is, is gonna do with this team selections and stuff. And it like all the guys are gonna get opportunity, hopefully, and to see where you are. But yeah, we are just gonna stick to our goals and obviously follow what the coach thinks of us. Uh, 
Sifunuba Pedere Uguia Pambil, Kigas in the Busy Zenz of June, and Nyanzik in the late in the city of Gene, the World Cup of twenty nineteen. So Sifuni improved across and Abanya Bond of opportunities. But the Balagil of Kulu and as much as all Jalango for your confidence, you see team as we are pumping. And and the right and the best ne break a right a cool no tune and the seven the song so si chonge ka pambi lo kuya si chonge ka cool kile mecha na sana. Mo kuna ona lo kuya captain si sabani ngo kaba bo kaba ko kana po zo ko ko lo wa kwa kwa ku ukuya wa po kile no ba kona wa po kile no si mo zinga ana lo wen jo ko. Kuzo zinga ta ka cool so si avana songe na ramoto and. Bonga buzz about Banin Gelazab was on Nate Balin and so Anzo Tata Yong Gindogum, so Sherisha song, Bacon and Abani, Pa Ebalin, and is a nigger he confident and cool, but didn't the focus of Gundalwam. Then, uh, Rachel, you know, um, so in the legacy, Chong, see, see, Chong, the way it's a cool, focus, a cool, Kubo, and and Nalendo, Pavage, a little cool, clean, gee, super rugby, but um, I find it and Kamazo might be in Goku, but Bonabane, the select of the Lee one. Don't you know, good to see, send this notes from the end of Berlin. And but Lendo was a nice preparation. Like so, Google is in the Zabo. He came Zabo with Jala. I think so. We're right to look good. Thank you, everyone. Thanks very much.